Okay, so today we are going to make a forest floor. So we are not just going to make a forest dirt path. We are also going to be making the grass and plants on the floor. And we are also going to make a dirt and grass texture. But before we begin, I just want to thank everyone on the diamond and golden spoon tier list on the Patreon. You guys are always appreciated and it spurs me on to keep on making these tutorials. But now we return back to the video. So for the particle system, I already made a tutorial on this. You can check out the link in the description. I'm just going to rush through the explanation. So the floor of my forest, I split into different faces because I want to make the particle system not appear on the dirt pathway. At least not as much as it will be on the forest floor. So I'm going to select the faces I want to have the particle system, add a vertex group and press this button here that says assign. And afterwards I'm going to go to the stop selection menu and press invert. And then it's going to invert my selection to everything that I did not select. And then I'm going to go to this vertex group and say remove. So now we have faces that will control where the particles are and where they will not be. After this, I'll just go to the particle system settings, add a hair particle system. Make sure your render properties, the curve option is set to this option, not the other one. Then all we need to do is play around with the size or height of the particle system, the amount. And then down here by the density, we can select that vertex group that we made earlier. And now I'm just going to play around with the children setting on the particle system. I explain it more in the other tutorial. You can just follow along of what you see here. It's pretty simple. I'm just changing the amount of hairs. I'm also changing the settings within the children settings of the particle system. Once you are done with that, I'm going to add another particle system and I'm going to add different objects so that we have different plants uh, scattered around the first floor. Uh, if you want these models that I'm using here, I uploaded them for free on my Patreon. So you can just click the link below again and then it'll take you to this free folder I called grass. But once you've done that or you made your own plant objects, you can put them all into a single collection. I call them plants. Then you can go into this new particle system we just made, go down to the render properties and select collection and then put your collection that you just made with all your plant models into that box. And now you can also go to the density settings and bring in that vertex group we made earlier so that they don't appear on the forest pathway. Okay, so now we are moving on to making the grass and dirt texture. So these two textures are going to be very similar. We are just going to have a normal BSDF in front. But then behind it, I'm going to bring in one noise texture and a bow noise texture. In front of each, I will bring a color ramp. And a mixed color will be in front of those two color ramps. This mixed color I will set to multiply. So this top noise texture with the color ramp is going to be the color of our texture and the bottom the Voronoi will act as something that will deepen the colors of certain parts of the texture through this multiply mix color. So I'm going to plug it accordingly and set the scale of the noise texture to something pretty high to maybe 38, set up the detail to maybe 9 and the roughness to maybe 0.87. Then I'm going to arrange the color ramp sliders like this 
and I'm going to change the left side to something of a dark green, the right side to something of a pale green, and the middle also to the same color. And between those two pale green sliders, I'm going to add a very bright green slider. That combination will do something like this. Then what the Vorner texture is doing at the bottom, it's going to make different darker splotches uh, amongst the green. So I'm going to set the color up like this, white on the left, white on the right, and a black slider that is near the right slider. Something like this. This is so that there are lines of darkness similar to what you see here in the viewport, uh, because I don't want thick splotches of darkness throughout the texture. I just want different pops of dark here and there so this suffices and i'm also going to set the vonoi to something very high the scale is going to be around 100 and the roughness will be around 0.75 i'm also going to set that vonoi to smooth f1 okay so this is how it looks so this is the green this is the grass and then i'm just going to duplicate this entire shader but i'm going to set the bottom color ramp of the vonoi texture to constant and I'm going to change the colors of the noise textures color ramp to brown. So a dark brown, a mild brown, and a very light brown. Okay, so now we are going to do the final part of the tutorial, which will be the separation between these two different shaders we made. It's also pretty simple. I'm going to bring in a noise texture and a color ramp. And then under that, I'm going to bring a gradient texture with a color ramp in front of it. And then I'm going to control T that gradient texture. Into the scale of that gradient texture, I'm going to plug in a noise with a color ramp in front of it, with its black set to something of a very light gray. Okay, so now we have everything worked out and set out. All we need to do now is tinker with them a little bit. Okay, so move the sliders as I do here. At the bottom will be the gradient texture, with black on both sides and white leaning to the left. This gradient texture controls where the path lies, so I'm going to rotate it on the mapping node, on the z-axis, and I'm going to crunch the black and white sliders on the color ramp so that I have um, a nice constricted dirt path and not very faded out because you want to be able to see it, you don't want it to fade in so bring in a mix color in front of these two trees setting that to subtract this mix color subtract I'll set the factor to full The noise texture having the white and black very close together, setting the scale to around 30, the detail to around 7, and the roughness to around 8. Okay, and this is how that tree is looking. So, now how do we combine the two textures we made earlier to this little tree we made here? So, I'm going to bring in a final mix color, and that I'm going to leave to the normal mix setting. And I'll plug that gradient tree we made into the factor of that mix color. Then I'm going to plug in the grass tree into the A socket and the dirt tree into the B socket. So now the white of the gradient node represents the dirt and the black represents the green of the grass. So we have a nice path in the middle of our first floor. And then I'm going to plug that into the color of the BSD.
Okay, and now we have a wonderful shader for our forest floor. And all we need to do is make the particle system look a bit better because as you can see the shadows uh, look too 3D. I'm just going to plug in a normal node into the normal of the BSDF and there we go. All the shadows don't look very 3D now. And that is basically it for our forest floor. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I certainly learnt a lot by making this forest. I started off very nervous because anime nature is pretty difficult but I think alhamdulillah I pulled it off. But that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a bunch, and see you in the next one. Bye.